Kena Upanishad translated by Max Muller this librivox recording is in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox.org recording by jyoti tarawanat first kanda the pupil asks at whose wish does the mind sent forth proceed on its errand at whose command does the first breath go forth at whose wish do we utter this speech what god directs the eye or the ear the teacher replies it is the ear of the ear the mind of the mind the speech of speech the breath of breath and the eye of the eye when freed from the senses the wise on departing from this world become immortal the eye does not go thither nor speech nor mind we do not know we do not understand how any one can teach it it is different from the known it is also above the unknown thus we have heard from those of old who taught us this that which is not expressed by speech and by which speech is expressed that alone no as brahman not that which people here adore that which does not think by mind and by which they say mind is thought that alone no as brahman not that which people here adore that which does not see by the eye and by which one sees the work of the eyes that alone no as brahman not that which people here adore that which does not hear by the ear and by which the ear is heard that alone no as brahman not that which people here adore that which does not breathe by breath and by which breath is drawn that alone no as brahman not which people here adore second kanda the teacher says if thou thinkest i know it well then thou knowest surely but little what is that form of brahman known it may be to thee the pupil says i do not think i know it well nor do i know that i do not know it he among us who knows this he knows it nor does he know that he does not know it he by whom it brahman is not thought by him it is thought he by whom it is thought knows it not it is not understood by those who understand it it is understood by those who do not understand it it is thought to be known as if by awakening and then we obtain immortality indeed by the self we obtain strength by knowledge we obtain immortality if a man know this here that is the true end of life if he does not know this here then there is great destruction 
new births the wise who have thought on all things and recognized the self in them become immortal when they have departed from this world third kanda brahman obtained the victory for the devas the devas became elated by the victory of brahman and they thought this victory is ours only this greatness is ours only brahman perceived this and appeared to them but they did not know it and said what sprite yaksha yar yakshaya is this they said to agni fire o gathavedas find out what sprite this is yes he said he ran toward it and brahman said to him who are you he replied i am agni i am gathavedas brahman said what power is in you agni replied i could burn all whatever there is on earth brahman put a straw before him saying burn this he went towards it with all his might but he could not burn it then he returned thence and said i could not find out what sprite this is then they said to vayu air o vayu find out what sprite this is yes he said he ran toward it and brahman said to him who are you he replied i am vayu i am matarasvan brahman said what power is in you for you replied i could take up all whatever there is on earth brahman put a straw before him saying take it up he went towards it with all his might but he could not take it up then he returned thence and said i could not find out what sprite this is then they said to indra o maghavan find out what sprite this is he went towards it but it disappeared from before him then in the same space either he came towards a woman highly adorned it was uma the daughter of himavat he said to her who is that sprite fourth kanda she replied it is brahman it is through the victory of brahman that you have thus become great after that he knew that it was brahman therefore these devas namely agni vayu and indra are as it were above the other gods for they touched it the brahman nearest and therefore indra is as it were above the other gods for he touched it nearest he first knew it this is the teaching of brahman with regard to the gods mythological it is that which now flashes forth in the lightning and now vanishes again and this is the teaching of brahman with regard to the body psychological it is that which seems to move as mind and by it imagination remembers again and again that brahman is called tadavana by the name of tadavana it is to be meditated on all beings have a desire for him who knows this the teacher as you have asked me to tell you the upanishad the upanishad has now been told you we have told you 
the brahmi upanishad the feet on which that upanishad stands or penance restraint sacrifice the vedas are all its limbs the true is its abode he who knows this upanishad and has shaken off all evil stands in the endless unconquerable world of heaven yeah in the world of heaven end of kena upanishad recording by jyoti taravnat